Hey, everybody. Great to see you. Just out of bed. Actually, I've been up for a while. But I wanted to come on a video to you today because a lot of stuff has been coming up for me and a lot of my clients this week in the last few days. And it really has to do with the concept of observing how we are saying no to ourselves because we're saying yes to everything else around us. We're worried about what people think about us. We're worried about thinking that we can control anything that people think. And I want to just remind you that whatever anyone else thinks or what anyone else does is a direct reflection of what's going on in their own mind. It has everything to do with them. It has nothing to do with you. It doesn't mean we're not kind. You get to choose to be kind from a place of choice. But sometimes we can be kind from a place of survival brain, a place of compulsion, because we think that if we're not kind, then we won't be pleasing, and then they won't like me, and then I won't fit in the tribe, and then I will die. And we do a lot of this in our lives. I've been noticing it in myself. I've been noticing it everywhere kind of we go, and it's not wrong. Our brains are wired to do this. But what I really want you guys to think about this week in my message, my love on you message, I'm going to put it in video today, as you can see. My love on you message for today is really this. I want you to look at the different places in your life where you might be saying no to yourself. I want you to look at the different places in your life where you are not saying yes to yourself. And this can bring up a lot of uh, survival brain thoughts for a lot of people. Well, if I say no to other people, then they're not going to like me. Remember, whatever comes out of their mind and their mouth and their actions is about them. You can't actually control other people's thoughts and minds and, and actions. Another thing that often comes up for people when we think about, you know, I can't, I can't say yes to me is like, I don't want to be a selfish person. Well, I want you to think about when you say no to you, you're really depriving the world of your best gifts. You're really depriving your, yourself of your best gifts. You're really depriving yourself of the ability to show up in your magnificence. And what happens when we do show up that way is it ripples and it blesses other people even more. What if we were all more at that level of I'm going to say yes to me from a place of choice, a place of self-love. And then that just creates more ripples of love. That is the magic that could actually heal our world and heal everyone around us. And I really believe that we have divine gifts and divine magnificence that really, really are just longing to get out. And it really starts from a place of saying yes to, yes, I'm going to take care of myself. Yes, I'm going to speak kindly to myself. Yes, I'm going to do my thought downloads every day and just look at what my survival brain wants to tell me. And yes, I'm not going to believe it all. One of my coaches just now coached me, and I want to kind of share this little quote she said. Oh, I wrote it down on another little piece of paper here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But the little quote was, what if we assume our brains are always wrong? Then it's easier for us to decide what we want to believe. And what I want you to really take from that is our survival brain just really loves to run the show and, it, and our brain is wired to do that. And what if we were could just start getting more in the habit of questioning it with compassion? Wait a minute. I really didn't fail at XYZ job at being a, a mother, a friend, a, a wife, a brother, or whatever this week. What if I could take a step back and say, hmm, I am going to learn to choose to not talk to myself like that so that I can be loving to myself, so that I can have more connection to my prefrontal cortex and therefore choose who I really want to be and who I want to show up as today. So again, your homework this week, <clears throat> got a little frog in my throat, is to take an honest look at where you are saying no to you by thinking you can control anything and everything around you.
And how can we start saying yes to us? Yes to, how can you start saying yes to you? Taking care of you. If you struggle with emotional eating, how can you say yes to you by giving yourself the time to look at your eating, the time to look at the emotions that are underneath it and investing in yourself to really take a look at that. You might not struggle with emotional eating. <clears throat> Sorry, here, I got to take a little water. You may struggle with watching YouTube all night. And it may not feel like a struggle, but it's a way that our brains will um, use to avoid feeling and processing our emotions, right? Some of my clients exercise in extensively, so they avoid feeling their emotions. Some of my clients work excessively to avoid feeling their emotions. Some of my clients are people that I know obsessively clean to avoid feeling their emotions. So it just comes out in different ways. Some of my clients are people that I know gather and hoard a little bit. And it really is just the outward expression of not understanding our emotional health, not dealing with our emotions, not letting ourselves be okay with having emotions and processing through them. So again, that is how to start saying yes to you. Okay. Please start doing that. I love you. I love you so much. If you happen to struggle with emotional eating, I would love to have a chat with you. Send me a private message. I can help you. I can support you. If you struggle with one of those other things, I can absolutely help you as well. would love to chat. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you soon.